okay, here at the back of the tank, before you just start digging, we, we know that there's a pipe coming out here, but use your probe, and let's see if we can find that. We'll find the back of the tank. In the center. You hear it? I'm right on top of that pipe. And it turns right there. And you can see there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Let's go back. So right there should be the outlet pipe of this tank. I'm just gonna pull this sod back. And let's dig that up and see what's going on right there. Sure enough, can you see it? See that pipe? They've got corrugated pipe. That's from my probe, not a big deal. Corrugated pipe. Take this off. They've got a corrugated pipe leading to the distribution box. Comes over and it drains out you know, through the drain field. Looking good. I put a little patch on that and we're in good shape. So because we can see that turn, I could just use my probe and find that pipe. Looking good. Let's dig it up right here and see what's going on. So what we're looking at is a distribution box and the drain field. Some people call it a leach bed, but these are drain fields. Can you see the gravel right here? Let me put the shovel in here and let's take a look. Can you hear that gravel? You see that gravel? The drain field or the leach bed, it is, has perforated pipe and it's surrounded with gravel, all the gravel. I mean, it goes everywhere out here because what happens is when you use your toilet, it comes through the septic, the solids drop to the bottom of the septic and the water floats through your system. It comes out and it drains out into the drain field. So again, I really think that the people that are really saying that you should wrap the entire system with a geofabric is just as a lack of knowledge. Not They're not stupid or anything like that. They just don't really have the knowledge of understanding what is needed and why it's needed. So again, you know, a lot of people are saying you should wrap this entire system. You can see there's a little bit of fabric right here, and it really is just right around the, the sides of the distribution box. See, here's another outlet of the distribution box. This one only has two fields, one here and one here. But there's actually a whole bunch of these knockouts. You could put several fields onto this one system. But the controversy, you know, why do people say you should wrap that gravel or some people like me say you don't need to. Well, I say you should wrap it in Florida because of the sand.
okay? Because that does migrate through. If you're in North Carolina, you've got solid red clay, the pottery, pottery clay, you know, all that China that you've got, you know, pretty much comes from either China or comes from North Carolina. We don't wrap them in North Carolina. There's no need to. As you go into Indiana, Ohio, in those areas, Different type of soil probably suggests that you wrap that system. But it's the lack of knowledge, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. Understanding, you know, really what how drain fields work, how things move through the ground would really help people understand, do you need to wrap or not wrap? Really that simple. Okay, before I cover this up, let's take one more look. You can see all the gravel. Lots and lots of gravel out here. And this is an above ground system. In other words, this tank that we just showed you, I showed you how to find the lid. When they built this, it actually sits on top of the ground. And the reason that it does is because the ground at, at the regular level of the yard, it doesn't perk. Water doesn't go down through there because the groundwater is so high. So we have to build an above ground system. And this has been in here 25 years probably. You can see it. It's working great. Look at all this gravel. And the way that system works, when you use the bathroom, when you flush the toilet, that water comes down the main pipe, the sewer pipe, drops into the tank. From there, the water passes through, but the solids stay inside the tank, and the bacteria eats those solids, they drop to the bottom. Only clear water comes out through your system into your drain field. Remember, there's the inlet line right here. Got the inlet line, comes into this little distribution box. What that means is just channeling water different directions. You've got one outlet here. There's an extra port here. Just an extra one sitting right here. And then we've got another field coming out right here. So this one really has only two drain fields, which is more than enough. Um, it act, this, these things run about almost 75 feet, um, and it's just filled with gravel underneath. This, so all the water just perks right down through. No smell, nothing. It's just pure water by the time it gets through this system. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.